Well, hello YouTubers. Um, here's a short tutorial as you heard in the, my later, latest video. I'm trying to get back on the track and do some rehearsals for maybe a live show I'll do. And um, I got an Octa track again and um, I'm really figuring out how to use it in my workflow and it's a little bit different than using Push2 and Ableton Live so I started um, to use patterns in the last uh, video and now I want to go one step further and try parts. And yes, mm, I'm sorry. The manual is your friend. I found a real cool explanation of it. Um, ba -ba. Ah, right here. It's on page 9 of the manual of the Octatrack. Basically, it's the structure how it works. And um, I really had to read it um, 10 times or so to understand it. But basically, it says that. Um, Every pattern is um, connected to a part. So um, with parts, you can um, have different scenes, track parameters, uh, effect assignments, and machine assignments. And that's the track parameters and machine assignments is where um, the parts come into play in, in my workflow. That means what I want to do is um, get over the um, eight track um thing the octa track as octa says has eight tracks and um, you can um, use it with eight samples for example um, and i want more samples i want more parts maybe an introduction i want eight samples and then i want um, the main part and i want another eight samples so i try to do this well, let's get started so I hope you can see the octa track and um, I got my guitar here and an OP1 and a rhythm from Electron to uh, to get some rhythm in. The rhythm is um, also slaved to the octa track, also the OP1, but um, the rhythm is also slaved um, in terms of the patterns. That means if I change a pattern on the octa track, the rhythm will automatically follow. That's really cool because you can um, get a lot of variations from the from the rhythm itself. So let's get started. I uh, I hope I, uh, I get this. Um, I, I want to do it by myself but I also have to explain it so um, it's a little my brain hurts already. So here's the octa track. If I push um, start you can hear the click and here's just um, some f from the rhythm put a little pattern here very simple just bass drum and I've set up all the tracks as flex machines and the recorder uh, is set to uh, record um, 64 steps and um, it's quantized to the pattern length and what's cool is I uh, used the setting and the settings um, it's under personalize under system to have um, how's it called fast record I guess record quick mode record quick mode I have it enabled so I only have to press um, the input button um, and it will start um, recording otherwise you would have to use the track and the uh, record button so it's pretty straightforward and fairly simple so I start sampling um, the rhythm is here and the plus sign comes here so basically it's recording right now it's simple 64 bars 64 steps I'm sorry and now if I put a trick on the first I can turn off the rhythm and and here we go this is the sample um, from the rhythm 
I could also use um, the following patterns function, but I don't use it right now to don't get you too much um, f um, frustrated. So on the second track, it's set up the same. I use it for um, laying down some guitar, the guitar part. Um, I use um, an electroharmonics pitch fork for the pitch effect for the guitar, and uh, Strum and Big Big Sky for the for the reverb. So here comes the guitar. I think the key is to to get in perfect loops is to um, play the figure once and then only record it the second time so you don't get these clicks you get the clicks on the octatrack um, on the loop point but I think if you have the setting here of fade in and fade out on the lowest position it's accept acceptable because often very often you have something like a bass drum or something else on the first so you won't hear it that bad but it's an issue and I'm still trying to get it better and better so play the part and then I put record because um, this signal of the guitar is on the A and B slot. stop the the rhythm track f by now because it's irritating me I need the just to click it's enough Now I got a problem, a little problem, because um, my actual guitar figure is a little bit too long. It's longer than 64 steps, so I change it to the recording length, length to max. I'm sorry. that worked um, we got um, the first loop in put a trick here 
Sometimes you have to adjust um, the sample length because the BPM auto detection sometimes doesn't work. Let's see. The attributes of the file. 108. 8 bars. Oh, it worked. Great. So I changed the trick to um, a one shot trick so it doesn't start all the time. That's the only way I found out to um, put in longer sam samples. Let's start it again and wait for the one shot trick to, to start the sample. That means it loops. It loops just it's not triggered um, by, the, by the trick. Ah, it's going on. You can also put the trick again here. I re-record the the rhythm part, it sucks. I'm sorry. Clear the recording buffer. Another one. button now it starts It's really tough to put it in, so I try to um, use the step sequ sequencer of the rhythm to put it in.
pattern from the OP1. Use the endless sequencer on the OP1. samples into the tracks that are left but I keep it it's complicated enough so I keep it for the first uh, three tracks and now I have to save the samples it's um, there are different workflows you can save them one by one or I found another solution you can also save multiple samples at once and this is done in the recording setup you go here and the recording setup and push function and edit you got this um, it's a little hidden but it's there you got um, this menu save all recordings say yes and it says recording buffer one and um, the date so I erase it function clear and I use I use a name and use it drum drums just so to keep it simple Now the second record above a two, that's the guitar. Clear the name. And I call it guitar one. Guitar one, save. And now the three is the OP one. Assigned to R3. Um, okay, now I, s I saved the samples and now I um, assign them to a static machine. Look here, um, I got this. I think it's here. Uh, I got the samples here, it's, it's saved. Drums. Second, I also have a static machine, and here I look for the OP1A, just saved. All right, and the third, I also use a static machine and assign it to the guitar one. Yes. made a mistake. Uh, damn it. Mm, I did it wrong. Um, this should be uh, this should be called um, guitar. That's the guitar. So I go to the project, uh, no to the car, car tools and file manager. Yes. 
and take a look here and now I can rename it it's a little tedious um, welcome to the Octatrack and I'm very slow I think if you if you are um, you can also get faster with it but I'm still learning so um, it's it's pretty hard uh, this is guitar this is OP1 should be called so there's a there's a learning curve absolutely it's not um, it's not a big deal um, uh, da, 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 op1 a so the sample is called op uh, I can't call it this way because there is already a file there called this way drums guitar op one a so I'd name it different rename so I just call it I oh know this oh, this way I, I can get names on it so this is the op1 I call it op OP one dot wave uh, wave wave wave. Uh, I think that's pretty boring to watch. I'm sorry. Renamed. Yes, that worked. And now the guitar. You can pre-listen to a sample with entrance. That's good. And OP1. So that's, that's okay. And now it's loading the project. And let's see. Now I have to reassign the samples. So on the first slot, everything is right. That was um, the drums. In the second slot, it's now it's an arrow. So I have to reassign it. Um, that's guitar one. And on the third track, it's OP1. Yes. Okay, cool. So now it should work. I have armed all the tracks. Whew. Usually it's getting faster, but um, I fucked it up a little bit. I'm sorry. But basically, I now have three static machines with three different samples assigned. And now I come to the real thing I, I wanted to talk about. It took me a little longer. Um, now you can go to the part menu and here uh, you go there if you press function and MIDI and you have four parts per bank. A bank consists of 16 patterns and every pattern has assigned one part. And in the parts, you can change um, the sample slots. That means now we have um, our first part. It's an introduction or whatever. And I can save it. Edit, save. And now I have part one saved. There's no more um, sign here. Okay, so now move on to pattern two. You see it here, part one, PT, part one, uh, pattern one. Uh, that's pattern one and part one. I'm sorry, pattern one and part one. And now I go to pattern, change to pattern two. Pattern two, A2, and it's still part, part one. And now if I assign um, another part, part two. Part 2 is assigned to pattern 2. I can now go back to the 1. Pattern 2. And it will change to pattern 1 with part 2. And now comes the cool part. Now you can change the assignments again. Go back to the flex. Assign the flex. Same here. Same here. Same here. So I got my flex. 
fax machines again. And I hope they have the recorder buffer. Oh no, you have to read the recorder buffer three. Recorder buffer two. And recorder buffer one. And now you can start recording your next part. I mean your next samples. So let's start maybe with um, stopping the playback. Press the track and stop. And put the click on again. And now I improvise on my rhythm. Clear the track, clear the pattern. steps and ah damn it there's something wrong with the ah I still have to change the, the settings for the recorder buffers You can do it all in advance, so it doesn't take too much time. Otherwise, you have to redo your settings all the time on the different parts. So, let's try it again. I'm on the first track. Um, the other, the old samples um, still still play. Otherwise, um, you you made a setting in the general settings or in the pattern settings. You can turn it off. But I find it useful because you can still hear the patterns and then you can record over a new a new something. I want to do it right now with the guitar.
not perfect, but for the sake of the tutorial, it works right now. I put a one shot trick. Uh, I have to rename it, arm the track, and now I recorded a longer sample. on the first flex machines here and now I can save them again so I go to recording setup again edit Sample two. Yes. Name this guitar two. Yes. And this is OP one B. Yes. And now comes the assigning again. I use a static machine. So now I have um, the two parts. I hope it works. We see it if we change the, the patterns. Okay. These th three samples, and then I now change to pattern one. samples to different slots that was the mistake so um, ah yeah that's the problem drum one guitar one and op one a where's the op one yes so now i'm in the first part the one shot trick I have to arm it so it goes on the first note ah that's the first part and now go to I go to the second part uh, second pattern 
with the second part pattern two. Maybe save save the first part first. So I go to the parts menu, edit, save. Part one saved. Yes. And now I go to pattern two. It's coming up next. Now in part two. And now I have to reassign it, but I have to use different slots, I guess. Drum two. Yes. And guitar two. Yes. Now, I hope it works. If I change to pattern 1 uh, with part 1, it's... Yes, it worked! Now you just have to... Um, change the one-shot trick to a real trick to arm it. I'm very, I'm in, in the beginning, so uh, it took me a while to figure out how it works at all in the theory. Now it's the deal to, to rehearse it, rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. Because if I use it in a live situation, I can do so many mistakes. I mean, the samples still play, but it takes me away from the performance. So I really have to learn, learn and rehearse and do it again to get faster with it take some time but I think it's worth it the octa track still a lot to learn still a lot to learn thanks for watching that's a little tutorial i did maybe i do more if you have any questions um drop me a note write it in the comments and i'll try to answer it and if you have suggestions how to do things faster of course help me please thank you my name is andre neumann thanks for watching